I think I've compared enough camera footages with the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro that it's now starting to burn out a little. But I think it's important for me to make that one more video just to help a few people understand the difference between ProRes and C Log. <laughs> So what is up people welcome back to another video and you are watching Streets of Punk. Without further wasting more time I just want to dive right into the comparisons because that's what you all are here for. Also if you look at my previous videos I got a new camera that is the Canon's R8. So I'll be filming all the C-Log footage from the Canon R8 and uh, as you also know from my previous videos the ProRes is from Blackmagic. So now the comparisons. So yes, those were the two different footages from two different cameras and as I make it clear in all of my comparison videos that it all comes down to preference. People who like more control on their videos will go for a cinema camera like Blackmagic but people who are shooting run and gun and uh, who are shooting on daily basis will go for something like Canon and the footage from Canon is uh, over processed in that sense. But the footage from Blackmagic is less processed and raw. So these comparison videos are targeted particularly towards the people who just see a camera and want to buy it because of its features. They don't analyze of what type of shoots they do. They don't analyze of how that camera will be used. They just buy it because it's fancy. So that's why I make these comparison videos just to help a few people uh, understand and get that clarity when they are planning to buy their next camera. Comparing the footage from Canon and Blackmagic was a little tough for me because uh, I like both the formats C-Log and ProRes but eventually I was able to figure out of how I was gonna shoot this video. Uh, suppose when I'm shooting content for Instagram or any other social media platform I would rather use the Canon R8 instead of uh, Blackmagic but on the other hand when I'm shooting documentary style videos or uh, videos in which I want more control over my footages in post production I would choose Blackmagic. Also one more thing when I'm trying to shoot uh, documentary style videos I want uh, my subject's skin tones to be very perfect. So as I said, it all comes down to your personal preference and at the end of the day, you have to decide what you shoot and accordingly buy your next camera. And that's what these uh, comparison videos are for. So yes, that's it for this comparison. I hope I was able to bring some value through the few words that I have spoken. So yes, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. For the people who are new here, I am Jatin. <laughs> <laughs>